Hey, it's Daryl Settler from New Start Discipleship. So today I want to talk to you about how to disciple your kids, a really practical way to do that. First of all, um, I have an audiobook that's free called Discipleship in the Home. It was actually written by Dr. Matt Friedman, who has a big uh, family, a bunch of his kids, uh, and they're all serving Jesus. They all love Jesus. And uh, so I've got seven kids, and I am passionate about my kids being raised up to love and serve Jesus as well. So if you're wanting to disciple your children, how do you put some content in place? How do you put the right kind of resources in front of them? Well, his audiobook is free at discipleshipinthehome.com, all right? discipleshipinthehome.com or this is the book itself is available on Amazon and other places like that. So, Discipleship in the Home, you can check it on Amazon or you can download it the, the free audiobook at discipleshipinthehome.com. And let me show you what I built on top of it, all right? So um, this right here is a the Discipleship in the Home resource notebook. Now, I, I printed this out at Office Depot, uh, but you can print it out on your own, on your own uh, printer at home if you want. And it uh, starts off with just a little bit of introduction about how to use this resource. And then there's, uh, this is the table of contents right here. So there's great hymns of Christian history, great prayers, great quotes of Christian history, the creeds of the Christian church, recommended le reading lists for kids, the uh, guts of the discipleship agenda, which is part, all of these things are... Uh, like appendices to Dr. Friedman's book. I got his permission uh, because you don't want to hear uh, that in an audiobook, right? And so I said, can I produce a resource that will do this? And he said, yeah, absolutely. So I uh, really appreciate his partnership on that. So uh, Appendix 2 is the Hidden in the Heart Catechism, and then there is Scripture to Memorize as recommended in the Catechism. And I built on top of this notebook, which you can keep by your dinner table, pull out, and spend a few minutes discipling your kids at the dinner table when everybody's together. Or you can also scan these QR codes. This great hymns of Christian history, it takes you directly to a page where there are congregationally singable performances of all 50 hymns uh, that are uh, there. And you can, if you don't know the hymn, you can learn it really easily that way. So that, uh, that list of 50 hymns is there. And then uh, there's great prayers of Christian history. Uh, there are, uh, I'm, I'm continuing to add to this, is there are uh, amazing performances of those prayers that, I am, uh, that I'm working, pr producing even right now. Great quotes of Christian history from people like Martin Luther, John Wesley, Susanna Wesley, William Booth, the founder of the Salvation Army, uh, St. Patrick, um, and uh, Athanasius of Alexandria, and Adoniram Judson, uh, S.M. Lockridge, that's my king. Uh, so marvelous, marvelous uh, stuff that you can hold up before your kids. And then there's the creeds. The creeds actually have a QR code that you can scan. It'll take you directly to a performance of the creed by a voiceover artist with some background music, lyrics on the screen, so you can hold up your phone or project it onto your, onto your, your TV and um, do that, uh, that as a family activity, quoting the creed together. Uh, Nicene Creed, the uh, Apostles' Creed, the Athanasian Creed. And then uh, there's a list of books like I mentioned a while ago. Then check this out right here. Uh, there is the Scripture to Memorize according to the Catechism. I, you scan that and it takes you to a page where there are 18 passages of Scripture. All of them are, are, are put onto screen in lyrics. They're performed as a voiceover with background music behind it because you can work on it together as a family. Now, you might say, what, what version of the Scripture is this? Well, I use, uh, I use ESV, but I also have made this exact same thing. The only difference is I changed all the Scriptures in it to KJV. And I also did another version. The only difference is I changed all the Scriptures to NIV. So all of these things together are a, a practical and powerful way to disciple your kids. Here's the thing that I want to communicate to you. A lot of times we come up with like, here's the information about what we ought to do, right? I ought to disciple my kids. I ought to have a discipleship time. I ought to do it at my dinner table. And that's great. The problem is how are you going to build some practical action steps to help you get there? That's what I'm trying to do with this resource notebook. That's what I'm trying to do with my family because it makes it so much easier when it's all right there. So I can literally put that on the, uh, the, the buffet table beside the dinner table and I can pull it out and I, when I've got a minute, we don't have company over and the, you know, we're all sitting down together, I can pull it out and I'm ready to go. I want you 
to be ready to go as well. So you can download the audiobook for free at discipleshipinthehome.com. You can order this at discipleshipinthehome.com if you are a pastor and you want to make this available for free to every single person in your church. You need to be a New Start Discipleship member. This is one of the resources that is available in newstartdiscipleship.com. So you can check out get.newstartdiscipleship.com if you are interested in getting that resource available. And you can print as many copies as you want for every single family in your church. Imagine if every family in your church was um, discipling their kids actively, on purpose, because it was the right thing to do, and you provided for them a easy turnkey way to be ready by next Sunday. All right, check that out. Uh, Get.newstartdiscipleship.com. That's all included, and you can download the free audiobook at new at sorry discipleshipinthehome.com. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you around.